certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Codin's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Yes, what is it? You can't be serious. I am not in need of the activation. What are you talking about?
You startled me. What are you doing here? I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Fog of the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. Hey, 
It's our astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Godo's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell her to Godo in the first place. Yeah, and I don't like being cheated, trust me. Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Gare Rakana Chemensa being a Rukutu and the Chuchu Matasso, Benkish. Gare into Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu. Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna. Dosane Gravalantro, Que Wapa Teratana Chinger Adana. Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna. I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic Space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Yes, but I am not in the habit of asking for things. And you were so difficult to find even after that small incident on Paragus. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is, broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. 
Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while, catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. Bazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. I prefer predictable games such as Galactic Economics. Excellent. It really is in your best interests, you know. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have, and when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them, and the galaxy will fall. Ah, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here, under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship.
Center, but on a huge scale, it could control thousands of droids on Nar Shada and elsewhere. Let's <laughs> go. 
Yes, is something wrong? Of course. I try to treasure these. That is.
Yes, is something. Yes, is something. Mechana Crave Mopa, Tamasuna Ramga Ma Chojane, Anta Scream Sochi.
I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's gonna destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is gonna be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Is this Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back, until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Narshada, to that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray that you do not prove yourself otherwise. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shada. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you, or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. 
I have kept secrets for far too long. I had thought perhaps that here upon the Smuggler's Moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. The bounties on Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shaddaa make perceiving a Force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. No, you are right. That is not the whole truth. It is difficult to detect a Force user on Nar Shaddaa, and I knew it. This threat we face, it leaves wounds in the Force when it strikes. It leaves nothing. Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. But we have spoken enough, I think. In words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This is a long war, I fear, with many battles left to fight. You will need to conserve your strength when using the Force, if you hope to make it through the long road ahead. This form heightens your affinity to the Force, allowing you to gather your strength faster, even in the midst of combat. Perhaps Exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, Exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us.
You've returned the trip. Thanks again, stranger. I won't forget what you've done for me. Dumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Boteng Harry Notra, Mina Radoch, Gitarist, but Gitis Cabula, Bobra Kimunchu, what a great to Gimulia.
A boska dłana. Ask you something? Your face. You, well, you have this glow. I mean, not a real glow, but it's like you're calm. At peace, but, but it's more than that. You haven't been chewing on spice, have you? Oh, 
Well, it shows. It's like you're hooked up to a power coupling. It's weird. I mean, not bad weird, just weird. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you and the disciple... <laughs> but it's just the Force. You know, hooked up a power coupling. You know? Got it. Just checking. Go ahead and ask. Look, before we get into a... Talk. Why, are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Already... No thanks. I did... Go ahead. Hanhar is only a bounty hunter because that's the closest word for what he does. He's not out for credits. It's more vicious than that. And it runs a lot deeper. It's like he's out to make the whole galaxy suffer. Every living thing... I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. That's a long story. Go ahead. I've killed people before. Oh, do I? Is that it? How you could ever possibly hope to understand is beyond me. Jedi don't have family. I know what happened at Malachor 5 and I... Get away from me. What do you want now? Whatever, don't worry about it. It's just a sore subject with me. Yeah, well, they're dead. That's how that story ends. But not everybody's story has to end with losing their family or their loved ones. And not all the bounty hunting I do is for criminals or killers. There's a lot of lost people out there. Scattered ever since the Mandalorian Wars. And sometimes, it's like you can almost hear them. Like an echo, calling out for each other. And maybe, just maybe by finding them... Maybe. We'll see. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But you're not getting anything else out of me. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. Yeah, more or less. I wasn't born there, I just ended up there. Well, the war happened. The first one, against the Mandalorians. I had family right- It's what happens after the wars are over, that... I think so. After Revan crushed the Mandalorians, planets throughout the Republic were flooded with refugees. And I was- Me? I got passage to Nar Shaddaa. From there, not much you can do, so... I became a bounty hunter. Take a guess, Jedi. Only two groups of people would have lost family at Malachor. As much as any slave becomes a Mandalorian. They took prisoners on every world they conquered to bolster their ranks. And they took a lot of world. When I was young, yeah. They mostly used me to carry ammo packs and munitions. Toward the end of the war, they needed everyone they could get. They taught me to fight, to hunt, to survive. I was part of their squad, even when I was young. Everyone served as part of the unit, and I, I felt like I had a place there. After Malachor, it really didn't matter anymore. The Mandalorians lost. Bad. But you know that. Yeah. I know. I saw the worlds they left behind them during the war. That kind of stays with you. I haven't forgotten it. What happened at Malachor, they... They probably deserved it. Should I be? Maybe I should ask you if you're happy about all... Maybe it felt like you lost family there. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. I didn't. Do you really want to hear this? Well, Hanhar and me go way back, in the worst possible way. He's from some forest planet on the Outer Rim where Zerka had set up one of their slaving operations. I don't remember the name. Something with too many K's and Y's. Sounds like you're gargling Ronto spit when you say it. No idea. He's just... Hanhar. I hope there aren't any more like him. I get the impression he's not a good representative of his people, though. Some of Voga the Het's men said Hanhar killed his own tribe, but those two crud thugs lie every time they open their mouth, so who knows? Well, not for long. Once off planet, Hanhar escaped from the Zerka slavers, then killed them all. I don't know. 
I always thought he just liked using them as weapons. Well, before you get too proud of him, Hanhar figured Zerka had the right idea. I don't think he understood the concept of slavery before, at least on the scale that Zerka practiced it. But now he did. You ever hear of Dursan III or the ID Cluster Colonies? Right, that's because Hanhar happened. He makes what happened to his homeworld look like an exercise in community building. He's not a bounty hunter. He's a slaver. A predator. It's like he's out to enslave or kill every human in the galaxy, like he's trying to settle some huge score or debt. I don't get it, but he's dangerous. Anyone who paid credits. And sometimes, he just hunted humans for sport. The ones who survived, he sold to the exchange, to the huts, to anyone who'd buy bodies. Living or dead. He and Voga used to do big credit transactions. That hut really liked the look of unwrinkled humans for some reason. Didn't make him too popular with the other huts, let me tell you. I was prey. And not only did I es- I don't pretend to understand it, but among his people, they have these codes of honor. But somewhere along the line, Hanhar's got twisted. His people form these things- Well, with Hanhar, he can't escape that life debt. It's bred into him. But he hates- So when I saved his life, it was the worst thing I could do. It was like slavery all over again. But it was in his head. A life debt to Hanhar is a death sentence. He'll hunt you until you're dead. When I saved his life, it meant he had to kill me. And so he kept chasing me in hopes... Yeah, tell me about it. Like I said, I get the impression... Probably. But if he had multiple life debts, especially to humans, Hanhar would probably go mad. He was angry before, sure, but he'd be ten times worse if that happened. Hanhar's tough. Really tough. And when he loses it, it's like nothing can stop him. I've seen him shrug off blaster bolts, boff and stunners, and even survive a freighter crash on Dursan 3. Oh, I'm glad he's gone. It's like a weight off my shoulder. And he always did. Trust me, if he was still alive, and he always shows up at the worst possible. Well, as happens on Nar Shaddaa, I made someone mad. It turns out they were even able to get him cheap. He heard about me and... Well, he tried to box me down in vents beneath the Nar Shaddaa docks, and he'd, he'd set one to... I think he'd hoped to drive me into the mines and then let them do the work. Or that I'd be too scared to try and walk through them. I figured that would buy me enough time to move through them. Like I said, I disarmed the trigger fuse. I just made... And he survived. He was crawling around, blinded from... I had the... Dr I, th I suppose... And he kept hunting me ever since, that I would always be... Pr Maybe. I've thought about that moment. A lot. One... Yeah, something wrong? Talk. Sure, they're easy. That's why I dress like this. When they're looking down to check you out, you can usually smash them on the base of the skull. It's simple. When you want a man, you jab him with a boffin stunner, then... Go ahead. Yeah, more or less. All the war. It's what ha Thanks, at me. Take a... As much as any... What they tell me after... Go ahead, now. I've killed people before. I know. I don't know. I don't... Go ahead. I didn't...
Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Yeah, well, the war, it's... Thanks, me. I'm good at fighting. Not if you know your target. And this is a little hard to explain, but narshada has got a flow, a life to it. You see all kinds of aliens and life there, and it's got currents. You know your target, you can feel them. You know where they're going to go. And sometimes, you know where they're going to be. I'm good at finding people. Because... Go ahead. Talk. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm all the it's what I think so. Me. Take it as much as it. When I. They tell me after me. Should I be? Me. Yeah, that. Should I be? Maybe it. Yeah, I know. That kind of. Go ahead. I've killed. I know. I don't know. I don't like it. And I don't know when or why it became so easy. Go ahead, now. Haven't heard anything more yet. I can't. Of course. It would be my pleasure. Meditation, Envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. All right. You know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. You. Who are you? What are you doing on this sh- Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. 
You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. Why have you done this? I? Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here, among us? You know the truth. I have always been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I will gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. Know that you have seen what formerly only I knew. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. Yes. Very. Ah, oh, I had wondered if... But you're... There are places in the galaxy. Strong in the Force. Light, dark. Worlds whose surfaces are graveyards, whose screams... What you heard was the echo. The answer will come to you in time. It must. When there is nothing more that you may learn from me. When the ruins of your past have been cleared away and I am no more. Then you shall know what it is. And if you do not, then the galaxy shall die. And all my hopes for you will have been for nothing. Ask. That crystal. Most interesting. Is there something else you wished? That crystal is bonded. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perf. Is there something. I miss. Yes. 
That crystal is bonded to you. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perf- Is there something else you- Ignorance. Am I? Then perhaps- And as I say- Yes, have that crystal. Let me focus there now. Is there something else? Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. Yeah, more. All the war. It's what I think so. Me? Take a guess, Jedi. As much. When I was young, yeah. They mostly used me to carry ammo. They taught me to fight, to hunt, to survive. After Malachor, it really didn't matter anymore. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead, Nat. I didn't kill him once. Are you sh Well, Han- No idea. I get the imp- Some of the- I don't remember the name. Haven't heard anything more yet.
I wish to show you something. Not with words, but by feeling it. With the Force, close your eyes. Feel the universe. Strip away the life on board the ship. Someone is creating an echo, a resonance in the Force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the Force. And as the echoes build, it becomes a noise, deafening, destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair created from such events breeds and grows. Someone is bringing the dark side to the galaxy through destruction. A critical point is approaching, and the wound must be healed. Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem... Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of... Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I sus- Still, the loss of my- Answer. Oh, the- And, regardless, I Statement. Master. Resignation. Conclusion. You s Mockery. Am I all- Statement. I mean, I vote, but if they are, in fact, hunting. Conclusion. Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My me- Reflect. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is- Oh, how I hate. Answer, yes. Answer. Yeah, something wrong. <laughs> Grin. Go ahead, Nas. It's all this traveling, being trapped in the ship. I'd rather be doing something, some... Yeah, it's been a while since I've been off-planet. Guess I got used to it. 
Well, Nar Shaddaa may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity. Aliens. People. Ref... Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that... Maybe one day, I'll let you. All right, but I doubt you're gonna show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tool. Something wrong? Go ahead. Feels better to be back here, not cooped up on. Well, Narshadam, it's got a life to it. Yeah, well. Uh, I... All right, prove it. You can show me now if you want. All right, but I doubt you're gonna show me. And when you show me. Yeah, something wrong? Go ahead. Feels bad. Well, it's got a... Yeah, well... All right, prove it. You... All right, but... And when you... Sh What's wrong? Why are you stopping? I've been my here hundreds of times. There's nothing special about it. No, I don't believe in the Force. It's Jedi tricks, sleight of hand. This I'd like to see. It's not gonna hurt, is it? Feel the currents here on Nashada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. This is the fourth. I can feel this planet. I can't shut it out. It's louder now. It hurts. All these people. That's what I want. I'm sure of it more than anything. I want to become like you. I want to be strong. I don't want to be afraid or alone anymore. I don't want to keep running and looking and never feel like I'm finding what I'm looking for. I am tired of being hunted. When the galaxy takes something from me, I want the power to let go. And I want the power to heal the echo when it's gone. That sounds all right from where I'm standing. <laughs>
HK-47, I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, Fat One? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement, if I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now... Statement. That is... Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement.